Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace an MR2 fuel filter. Uh, this is a 3S GTE third gen turbo. Uh, let's see, it's gonna be a really, a really quick video. I'm not gonna show you really too much. It's a, a quick run through. Uh, the new one's already in there. So I'm just basically gonna give you a little bit of tips on how to do it. Um, but here's your intake. Fuel filter is gonna be right down here. You can kind of see it's kind of bright, but it's you know right there. Uh, you're gonna have a 17 millimeter bolt on the top. Looks like uh, this guy right here. It's gonna have a, a washer on the top. Should come with a new filter if you got it. It's uh, same exact bolt is on the bottom, 17 millimeter also. And you have a 10 millimeter bolt that holds it in there. It's like a little bracket that keeps it tight. So uh, to get the old one out, I uh, got one of these guys. Get you a you know a nice size extension. Goes right down there on the bolt, and just break the torque on it, loosen it up. A little bit of fuel will come out. Uh, do the same on the bottom and then I took the 10 millimeter bracket bolt completely out and then I loosened the top and bottom bolt took them completely out a little bit of fuel will drip uh, for me it wasn't that much and after that I just removed the whole entire fuel filter this is the old one right here as you can see it Once that's out, stick your new one in, which is already in there. Uh, get your bolt, stick it back through. Once it's through, put your other copper washer on the other side. There should be two washers. And then just, uh, just tighten it down, just, just barely, just finger tight. And then now, I am going to do the same thing with this top one. So, put that little guy on there. It's like a little castle nut that comes with them. I don't know what the fuck it is, to be honest. Then, I'll slide this guy. Here's the, uh, here's the fuel line right here. So I'm basically gonna slide the bolt through. Once the bolt goes through, I will then put another copper washer on the other side, and then I will stick it in the fuel filter and finger tighten it down. So, I don't know if uh, you'll be able to see this, but uh, we'll see. So, bolt goes through. And yep, the camera moved. Yeah, there's the bolt through the thing. Put your other washer on there. And then put it in there. finger tighten it down with your extension always finger tighten it down first you don't want to cross thread any of these threads and then there you go it's on there so now once you got your washers on both sides your two 17 millimeter bolts on each end finger tight I will go back down I will tighten up the bracket fully with that 10 millimeter and then I will go on the bottom, tighten it down, and tighten it down on the top. And that should be it. It's, uh, it's pretty it's pretty easy, to be honest. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, let me know.